<coughs> Greetings, Abhar. Namaskar. How are you guys doing? I welcome you to Janki Talks. This is Amna Singh with my partner Pradeep Singh here from Roots to Groom and Apunibha Bharat Learning Platform. We are super happy, super excited, and extremely grateful to all our collaborators, supporters, awardees. Coming in in full force on the first of May at GL Bajaj Management Institute, Greater Noida, for this amazing on-ground felicitation and the conclave happening of Janaki She Rise Edition Two. So, people, before we take this forward, we have this amazing, wonderful Janaki here yet again. The series continues. So, before I give the introduction, let me just tell you that you know when empowering people is your priority you definitely get listed so we have arpita rai shrivastava here how are you arpita hi a very good evening to all and glad to meet you amna and pradeep ji thanks for inviting me it's so wonderful having you here it's it's, it's very familiar it's very easy it's very cozy with you so uh, let me just introduce arpita first and then we take the conversation forward so arpita she has many layers to her beginning she is the director of mind cube multi services private limited she is the president of prime minister jk by ppa if i'm saying that correctly and winner of the glamorous public speaker mrs india 2021 international glamour project mrs india 2020 a social entrepreneur csr professional a social worker having 20 years of experience working with the excel levels for top corporate social sector and education institutions brand ambassadors jury at multiple organizations her philosophy of life as she says is that art of giving as i said initially that you know it has to be on your priority when you work together you definitely empower arpita super happy to have you so many layers to you. let's get talking and tell us about yourself your journey how it all started pradeep ji take it forward please uh, thanks, thanks for that lovely intro. Welcome. Thanks, Amna ji, and thanks to Arpita ji for uh, coming here and uh, giving the insights how exactly the break the bias which we are talking for. And of course, the Junkie Talks, where we are talking about so many biases are there among the community and the people. And how we as an individual and how we as a community can actually make a uh, make an ecosystem of make a platform where each and everyone get actually uplifted or get empowered because of our integrity or because of our initiatives. So good to hear you, good to be here. Uh, I would like to listen more about uh, your childhood days, your schooling, and of course, uh, there was some uh, background story behind, uh, of course, the working of those uh, corporates. After the corporates, there is a story how you went to uh, this uh, beauty project. So uh, in a nutshell, I would like to know more about that because that is where the big device of from your end. Uh, I would like to listen or I would like to listen. On. First of all, uh, let me thank uh, you, Pradeep ji and Amna ji for this brilliant initiative of conducting Junkie Talks and the Nari Shakti Samman, you know, conference and the felicitation for empowering all those women who have done commendable work during this pandemic. It's a beautiful initiative and uh, my best wishes to both of you for having this wonderful event. Well, as you said that we are anyways, uh, we all are empowered in ourselves and I strongly believe that we women are really one of those examples, but I must say we are the blessed ones because uh, Empowerment or breaking the bias, if you think about, uh, it looks, uh, sometimes it's like a myth to some of them, you know, it is something that we need to talk about. Uh, well, it is one of the very talk about topic in current scenario, but yet it's important to understand that it's still an uncharted water for many of the ladies in today's scenario. And I think that's the reason that what, why we all are conducting this events so that we can you know, set examples to the entire society that women are doing a fantastic work in their respective fields. Well, as far as me is concerned, I, I hail to a very small city called Varanasi, born in a very mm -hmm. religious place. 
and I did my schooling from here, though I'm born in Lucknow. And uh, you can understand a girl from a very small town and then you settled in a metro space like uh, Mumbai. But let me tell you, I never had an inferiority thing. I was the one who wants to break the bias. Why? Because in those days, girls were limited with their dairas. I hope you understand. Ladki ho apne daire mein raho. There were yeah. rules for so, us to mend. You know, you have to uh, do this. You don't have to do that. And I was the rebel. When someone says that you are not supposed to do this, I will be the first person to do that. <laughs> my mother was really fed up of my this attitude, you know. And the funny part was that that she considered a psychiatrist. Is my child <laughs> normal? Because I never treated myself as a girl because I was blessed with a family where everyone happily accepted and nurtured me just like a boy. But once I step out to the society where we hail, there was a lot of major difference when it comes to the girls and boys, the gender equality statement, which I was the one, which I was never in a favor. You know, it is a society where everyone should be treated equally, I believe. So that's how I landed from a small town to a metro. There I made it realize that she's from a small town, but my work talked about myself. I proved everyone wrong by stating that your work should speak about yourself. Hmm. And then too, there was also a stereotype that I broke was I was a simple graduate from a BA political science owners. And I entered into a hotel industry you know, a service industry where it was said that to be on a certain position, you have to be from the hotel management background. And there also I proved wrong because service, your work talks about yourself. I had a very good interaction with my guests and I was the one who always believes in the values of the Tatars that the guests are like gods and you have to take care of them. So the only thing I must say is this, that if you have a confidence on yourself and you know that you're not doing anything wrong, I think everything is achievable. But life is not like that. Life is like a roller coaster. When I thought everything is sorted, I was on the heights of my career. One incident took my life and it was again up and down. I was mm -hmm. completely uh, shattered and um, it was uh, something that happened to me. I was bedridden for an year. I had a paralytic. And then too, I have to leave my service industry because it has to be a 16, 18 hours standing job. And once you have gone through this kind of a medical condition, you know, your family and your friends won't recommend you to go for a stressful job. Mm -hmm. And then too, I entered a corporate world, leaving the service industry where I was doing fabulous. And then again, to upgrade myself, I did an MBA from the HR and thought that if I have to survive in the corporate world, I have to be equipped with all those qualifications. And then I learned, I did multiple courses and I excelled well. And then too, again, I thought that the corporate world is good, but then I have to do something nice for the society. And then too, again, I left the corporate world and joined the social sector. In social sector, again, as a human, you know, I it was my basic nature to help people. So everyone said that, why can't you be in a profession where your nature and your capability and your intelligentsia helps them and guides them, you know, to the people. You should be the voice of the voiceless. And that's how I started pursuing the social work. And then to, I landed into the CSR Forte. And again, I was doing pretty well. And then to... As you all know, the pandemic hit. Now, I was the woman who was often keep on traveling, confined to four walls. And then, too, it was a brilliant initiative. Again, people say that she's a traveling uh, woman. Then now what she's going to do inside the house between the four walls? And then I thought, I'm not going to waste my time like this. Let me do something which is really unusual. Again, I entered into the pageantry board to see where I stand. Luckily, I did well as far as my personal front is concerned. And the beautiful part was this, that I, with the help of all my associates and friends, synergized our energy and have contributed to our Nirbhar Bharat learning platform, where we shared all our work and the expertise in educating the people. So that's the small story in a nutshell. Thank you. 
so uh, you know it is so amazing to hear this journey from the rebel to the established one to yet again saying you know what i stand tall and strong no matter what so they say uh, अब बिकॉज यू नो ये कहना पड़ेगा थोड़ा सा बॉलीवुड का टच लेना पड़ेगा बिकॉज क्या हमारी जो ऑडियंस है जो देख रही है यू नो उनके लिए थोड़ा सा इसको हम लाइटन भी करना चाह रहे हैं कि अब जो टाइगर है लाइन इज यू नो स्टे इज अ टाइगर वेदर इट्स इन बॉलीवुड और यू नो इट्स इन द जंगल राइट सो द आइडिया इज इट इज लॉन्ग इज यू नो दैट यू स्ट्रॉन्ग इज लॉन्ग इज यू नो दैट यू हैव अ पर्पज इन लाइफ आई थिंक यू आर ऑन द गो यू आर ऑन द जर्नी यू के नॉट स्टॉप बिकॉज द डेस्टिनेशन इज समथिंग वी डोंट अंडरस्टैंड and together yes you said correctly as as a team as we doing what you're doing with janaki here aatmanirbhar bharat like i said you know with dr mandakini also like we've had her arpita also it's it's very familiar it's a candidate so it's a cool why because you know we all are working together to make this drive successful to make it more enlightening and inspiring for people who join in so i think we all will make it fluid for for those who are watching and jo co ki cooperation hame mil rahi hai और जो हमें हमारे कोलैबोरेटर्स uh, की हमारे हमें सपोर्ट मिल रहा है चाहे वो हमारे वेन्यू पार्टनर्स हैं चाहे हमारे मीडिया पार्टनर्स हैं या जिस भी तरह से वो जुड़ रहे हैं पैन इंडिया से अर्पिता व्हाट इज योर टेक पीपल हु आर ट्रैवलिंग दीज अचीवर्स दीज वुमेन हु आर ट्रैवलिंग पैन इंडिया ऑन शेयर गुड विल फॉर दिस नारी शक्ति सम्मान प्रायोजन राइट फॉर जन की शी राइज ब्रेकिंग द बाय टेकिंग द कॉल सेइंग व्हाट पोस्ट कोविड आई एम रेडी टू गो आउट एंड यू नो वो मनी हाइस्ट वाला कि आई एम गोना मेक इट नाउ what is your take how do you see it see i strongly believe that uh, empowering women is very essential in today's scenario and i think the work that we all are doing is towards that right now i being a csr professional or pradeep ji is from a csr professional you being a social sector at the end of the day what are we doing we want an equitable uh, you know Uh, society you know equitable society where everyone should be given a equal opportunity to flourish and explore right now the agenda of doing it was the, anyways yes to highlight what women in their different perspective fields are doing point one but the basic idea that what i feel was very important uh, of doing this is our ajanki skill centers see mm. the idea about we all did was a uh, training Uh, to the rural india that what the yeah. atmanirbhar bharat learning platform was doing okay training the vocational training the incubation program the public policy that we were doing it and the most important successful mission of the atmanirbhar bharat was mission shakti which yeah, we were doing for upsida yeah. right mm-hmm. and it was really fabulous we got a lot mm-hmm. of appreciation for that so now when we are see for any activity that we do we were simply online let me tell you honestly mm. people were thinking that we are we are good or masters on the online this time we want to show them that offline also we going to rock point mm. one but the agenda of doing the offline event was to set up the idea behind is to set up these skill centers so that what are we going to give the message to the society by doing this is we are not simply preaching okay we are actually in action also if we are training it if we are making you equipped that you should have a basic knowledge we are also giving you the opportunity to empower you and to also excel you in your respective fields by setting up this janki skill centers okay mm-hmm. now what are we doing as i said what are we trying to uh, give you uh, you know the uh, what are we uh, uh, convey a message by setting up this skill center if you may ask you know pradeep ji i'm sure we need to uh, talk about this also right is first thing is this that we are boosting their self esteem okay then we are acting like mentors you know and we have an industry experts who are educating them on different topics so that the crowd or the masses are led by examples okay then a hand holding is also being given to all our expert teams to them so it is it th- this is all the basic idea of uh, you know setting up the skill centers so that they can have their own small businesses right so you know you you said rightly that the whole idea basically driving this force forward was actually to have janaki centers you know and placed obviously well so that you know whether it's a woman 
and not a woman as well man or a woman because again we're saying breaking the bias is about like breaking it here because you know the real muscle is here right so what we're trying to tell you is that it's about your emotional upgrade it's also about your financial upgrade that is why janaki came in janaki comes in why because you know with this drive like you said and you mentioned with atmanirbhar bharat uh, the mission shakti program that we did and i was also a part and thank you pradeep for engaging me in that the best thing was you know when you see things at the grassroots and when you get in touch with that kind of uh, you know vibration then you realize there's so much more to do together because one person cannot lead it one person cannot do it you need to have people who come collectively there has to be a group action there has to be a sense of vision as to uh, like i said you know that action that hum dikhana cha rahe hain ki ha hum action mein hain humne sirf online kaam nahi kiya hai lekin hum on ground bhi karne ko tatpar hain lekin hame wo support chahiye as csr professional you are in the corporate understanding so is he i have worked with the csr truly that's what we are saying and we are urging these big houses please who are listening to us i know there are many few who are listening please uh, you know think about it. it's very imperative and it is the need of the hour post the pandemic very much don't you agree pradeep don't you agree with what is your take yeah 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 just see uh, uh, i would like to add the dots actually what all those uh, dots uh, either you or arpita ji was is talking about uh, basically when i uh, see the work culture of the tatas where actually uh, arpita ji was also working and to working for those things the seed has been grown among us that you have to empower them because we have been at that process wo jo dana hai na wo cheez hai ki nahi nahi aapko logon ke liye kaam karo wo wahan reh ke humne seekh liya कैसे करना है वो भी उसका एक कुछ कुछ एग्जांपल्स हैं जो आई कैन आल्सो कोड अप टू द आई कैन कोड कि कैसे अपॉर्चुनिटी जो है वो द पर्सन हु इज वर्किंग रियली वर्किंग ऑन द ग्राउंड उसको अपॉर्चुनिटी दी जाती है या दी जानी चाहिए फर्स्टली यस ऑफ कोर्स व्हाट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इज हाउ टू एंपावर बट देयर इज एन एक्शन प्लान फॉर दैट देयर इज अ विजन फॉर दैट देयर इज अ मिशन फॉर दैट दैट इज व्हाट एक्चुअली दिस जंकी टॉक्स और अफकोर्स द जन की स्किल सेंटर और जो हम बात कर रहे हैं हमने जब वोकेशनल किया था तब भी यही चीजें कोशिश की थी कि वॉट ऑल दो सेगमेंट्स आर देयर हमने जब आगे भी जो चीजें हमने लर्निंग की वो लर्निंग हमारी लर्निंग तो है लेकिन लर्निंग को जब आप आ, क्या बोलते हैं ग्राउंड में उतारेंगे देर विल बी द पीपल देर विल बी द इको सिस्टम देर विल बी द इंस्टीट्यूशन देर विल बी दर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर विच वी रिक्वायर द सपोर्ट एंड वो सपोर्ट ऐसे नहीं आएगा सपोर्ट को क्रिएट करना पड़ता है सपोर्ट को हमारी बात लोगों तक बतानी पड़ती है वो जो मैं कह रहा हूँ संवाद करना पड़ेगा आपको बताना पड़ेगा कि हम स्वावलंबन की बात कर रहे हैं आपको बताना पड़ेगा कि हम लोगों को स्कीम्स की बात कर रहे हैं आपको बताना पड़ेगा कि लोगों की हम स्किल डेवलपमेंट की बात कर रहे हैं और स्किल डेवलपमेंट जब भी वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्किल डेवलपमेंट एज पर द नीड एज पर देयर कैपेबिलिटी वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इट्स नॉट ओनली डेट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस और द फाइनेंशियल इंटेलिजेंस और द पब्लिक पॉलिसी it's not like such we are talking specifically about the skill development of the person or the individual those who are there as per the need of the people as per the need of the demographic uh, geographical requirements uske hisab se hum koshish karna cha rahe hain ki wahan ki jo bhi need hai agar odisha mein main aapko example dunga agar main odisha mein baat karu to main shayad sochunga ki jo bhi matsya udyog hoga that is uh, fishery and or we will try for that but agar ab main kashmir mein hoonga to i will not try for fishery i will try for the apple and apple connected business so that we need to think for kerala mein baitha hoga ya gujarat mein baitha hoga to i need to think for something else so wo requirements ko bhi hum kahin na kahin hame search karna padega ki hamari exact requirement us particular jagah ki kya rahe kya rahe us jagah ka kya system hai har apni state ka alag alag system hai mobilization ka bhi alag system hai logon ki requirements ka bhi alag system usko bhi kahin na kahin samajhna padega isliye hum kya rahe ki जितने ज्यादा लगा स्टेट से लोग हमारे पास आए फर्स्ट मे को मैं अनुरोध करूंगा सभी से कि जितने ज्यादा लोग आते हैं हर अलग अलग स्टेट से आते हैं तो हमें हर अलग अलग स्टेट के बारे में जानने को भी मिलता है वहां पे वो लोग क्या कर रहे हैं वॉट ऑल दो गैप्स एरिया फॉर दो इनेबलिंग दो सेंटर हम शायद समझ पाए या करने की कोशिश कर पाए हम शायद लिख पाए कि हाँ यहाँ पे ये चीजें हो सकती है कौन हमें आके सपोर्ट करेगा कि ठीक है मैं कोई आएगा तो बोलेगा मैं फंडिंग कोई आएगा बोलेगा मैं रिसोर्सेज से सपोर्ट करूंगा 
कोई आएगा बोलेगा मैं मेरे पास सेंटर है मेरे पास लोग नहीं है तो हम तरीके से हम उस चीजों को शायद आगे लेके जा सकते और यस अफकोर्स जब भी हम जैसे अर्थिका जी बोल रही थी ब्रेक द वाइसेस की बात है है वो छोटे से शुरू है वो महिलाओं के साथ तो सबसे ज्यादा है अब किसी भी देखिए हमने अब तक आई थिंक दस से बारह से हम कर चुके हैं और सब जगह यही बात आती है जब महिला की बात आती है या जो क्वालिफिकेशन की बात आती है वो बायसेस है हमारे होटल इंडस्ट्री है तो नहीं ग्रेजुएट ग्रेजुएट जो है वो होटल इंडस्ट्री का ही होना चाहिए वो बायस है हमारे कि ग्रेजुएट जो है वो बायस उसी यूनिवर्सिटी का या उसी सेगमेंट का डोमेन का एक्सपर्टाइज का होना चाहिए वो उसके चीजें ब्रेक करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं बस यही काव्यात है बाकी और जो आना जी And I would just take that cue, Pradeep, आपसे कि हाँ, बिल्कुल जैसे हमारे प्रीवियस सेशन में भी उन्होंने यही कहा कि देखिए ये आप कर सकते हैं जरूरी नहीं है शी वॉज शी स्टार्टेड अ करियर बाई बींग फोटोग्राफर राइट इज वेरी स्टैब्लिश मेकअप आर्टिस्ट सो शी वॉज सेम द सेम थिंग दैट ये एक नोशन है कि जब करने जा रही थी तो कि डॉक्टर नहीं बन सकते आप डॉक्टर बनो टीचर बनो स्पेसिफाइड फील्ड यू नो सो लेट मी कम बैक टू अर्पिता सो अर्पिता लुकिंग एट द चैनल चैलेंज you know in the eye and saying you know what i can do it you've done it right seeing the highs and the lows and the drives gender equality also seen as sexual equality right so ye jo jo actually mein notion hai ke uh, corporates mein ye zyada hota hai otherwise you don't get to see it resources opportunities ki mara mari to throughout hai across hai to ek to wo aapke hisab se kyun hai aur usko डील करने के लिए व्हाट शुड विमेन रियली डू नॉट मेन बिकॉज एवरीवन एवरी जन की ट्रस्ट मी आई एम श्योर आपने देखे हैं वो सेशन जो भी आए हैं उन्होंने ये कहा है कि अ वुमन इज ऑलरेडी एम्पावर्ड वो शक्ति स्वरूप ऑलरेडी है लेकिन उसको कहीं ना कहीं वो एहसास कराना किसी किसी लेवल पर कराना इज द ओनली आइडिया तो आपको क्या लगता है वॉट इज इट दैट दुगल्स आर पार्ट ऑफ लाइफ We know hmm. that fact, right? Hmm. Hmm. तो आप ये सोचें कि आपके लिए हमेशा रोजी रोजी पात रहेगा दैट इज नॉट फेयर टू से यू के नॉट चेंज पीपल थिंकिंग एंड परस्पेक्टिव ओके बिकॉज एवरी वन इज फ्रॉम अ वेरी डिफरेंट बैकग्राउंड राइट थॉट प्रोसेस सबका बहुत अलग है हम जिस परिवेश से हैं कोई जरूरी नहीं कि आप उस परिवेश से हो hmm. सबकी अपनी आइडियोलॉजीज एंड थिंकिंग प्रोसेस अलग अलग होते हैं एंड पीपल डू हैव इन सिक्योरिटीज आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड यू टेल मी आई इफ आई टॉक अबाउट इन महाराष्ट्र इफ यू सी ऑल द नॉर्थ इंडियंस आर हेडिंग द टॉप नॉर्थ पोजिशन इन दॉपरेट वाई एनी वन सपोज यू हैव योर ओन डोमेन राइट एंड एन आउटसाइडर sits on top of you and you will be like is i'm a fool working for so many years and they hire an outsider above me so what's the loyalty of me to the company right it happens right the hr never gives that kind of a uh, high to a person who is in a house but they will all, always hire a person outside with a higher package so what are you going to do about it <clears throat> see these it's not about a girl or a boy biasness you would feel it in the corporates it's everywhere hmm. let me tell you it's it's everywhere so the point is this you have to find out the way out you know it is on your individual capacity and a skill that how you find out a way out to stand between them and realize them that we are also one like you we are not over here to take your position or mm-hmm. your attire you know we are just one of you the discrimination happens when a person has a fear if you mm-hmm. ease out those fear and make him comfortable that you are also one of them i'm sure things are sorted out the problem happens people have an ego people don't speak that's mm-hmm. the biggest problem you know we are all humans if yeah. you nurture them with the love and care i'm sure a person will understand this i am talking about my personal experience i have been uh, really uh, you know i must say grilled at my corporate travels but i was the one who will never have a chicken on my face everyone used to be like ay arpita ko to koi farak hi nahi padta she is smiling and she is like you know mm-hmm. she can handle pressure so well hmm is just because it's a temporary yeah it's a temporary phase try to understand the the message what i'm trying to give it to you you often the same pressure at your home also Hmm. right that the viewpoint never matches the ideology never matches 
how you cope up just because they are your own people you surrender you compromise right i'm not telling you to compromise but please look out for a ways make a healthier relationship certain things if you feel that a person is not able to understand walk out but time is a very big factor sooner or later that person you want to imagine i got a shock of my life 20 years back i met one of my uh, seniors in one of the meetings uh, it was a very uh, remarkable experience of me i would like to share with you amna mm-hmm. yeah that uh, he was a senior of me and i never had a good terms with him luckily i met uh, in one of the meetings to him and he was serving me and i was the guest and that was the hotel where i was heading oh, okay nice, nice, yeah. Nice. yeah i'm telling you i'm not going to name that So now oh, the property know. where I was servicing, I was the guest there. Now you see the difference, okay? And that person came to me and he said, "Hi, Arpita, how are you?" And I'm like, I stood up, I sh- I stood up, okay? I was the guest. I stood up, I shook hands, and I said, "Hi, senior, how are you?" He said, "I'm no more your senior now." Mm. You know, I said, "Senior, you will always be a senior, okay? Because you made me learn all the things." he came and he said that apata i have to say something which i have never said to you i hope you have forgiven me mm. i really have done very yeah. bad things to you but i never had a guts, guts to confess today i saw you and you met me so beautifully that you know i felt guilt from inside what kind of a man i am yeah right. so it's been years it's a pretty long time even i forgotten yeah. also mm mm-hmm. But so, you know, life be... is like that because you don't know what a person is suffering from. Sometimes it's not your fault, but it's their inner frustrations that they put on to juniors. Hmm. Right? So, don't take everything so personally. I always feel never take anything so personally. Let it out. You know, it's better not to crack your brains there. Move on. I believe that's so, my personal, uh, you know, solutions to these problems. so people who are joining us now those who've been listening to us whenever you listen to this do like share subscribe arpita shivastava rai's handles would be underneath our information is going to be underneath in the description box do watch it and her advice is perfect that you know just believe in yourself do not give up do not listen to husky refuses because you don't need them you don't need to kiss every frog you meet right so as a strong woman if you know what you've done and even if you've kissed a few you should be confident about the fact that you know what that was your learning right and that's how you grow so i talk about experiences and in that sense that whether it's personal professional social economic political whatever you have to stand tall why because together only is the way forward you cannot stay and say you know what i can lead this and move on forward by myself unless you say that you know what i have that confidence in me strongly embedded jaise arpita shrivastava rai ne shuru kiya aur unhone kaha ki meri jo mamma hai wo kehti thi ki you know i am such a rebel you know but that rebel today stands tall has the chivalry that men should have because we're not talking gender so i'm using chivalry so minus gender शिवलरी दिखाई कट सी दिखाई खड़ी हुई अपने सीनियर को आज भी उन्होंने अच्छे से जो इंसिडेंट बता रहे हैं उन्होंने ग्रेटिफाई किया तो कूडोस टू सच विमेन एंड दैट काइंड ऑफ सोच जैसे प्रदीप ने कहा प्रीवियस सेशंस में कि ये बदलना बहुत जरूरी है ये ब्रेन मसल है ये सबसे पावरफुल मसल है यार बॉडी में सो लेट्स वर्क ऑन दिस और ये संवाद ये चर्चा क्यों है इसे खर्चा क्यों कर रहे हैं हम और इतने लोग मिलके क्यों जुड़ के आपसे बात कर रहे हैं और इतनी दूर दूर से लोग आ रहे हैं क्यों आ रहे हैं इसीलिए आ रहे हैं ताकि हम बदलाव ला सके जन की स्किल सेंटर्स का आना बहुत जरूरी है हम सब की यही कोशिश है बाकी देखते हैं एज लॉन्ग एज दपोर्ट इज ऑन द जर्नी इज ऑन हम गिव अप नहीं कर रहे हैं एट आत्मनिर्भर भारत माइंड क्यू वॉइस इट आउट एंड सो मेनी अदर पीपल हु आर शोइंग द कोऑपरेशन विद अस मैनेजमेंट हमारी डारी है इंस्टीट्यूशन चलना है और चलता रहेगा सो so, अर्पिता जी अब हम थोड़ा सा लाइटन करते हैं थोड़ा इजी करते हैं स्ट्राइकिंग क्विकीज पूछेंगे प्रदीप जी योर डन यू विल शूट या अर्पिता जी आइसक्रीम और कोल्ड ड्रिंक इज आई हैव टू चूज द बैड पार्ट इज दिस आई डोंट लाइक बोथ ऑफ देम यू ओके दिस आई वाज नॉइ एक्चुअली ओके हॉट कॉफी और कोल्ड कॉफी हॉट कॉफी और कोल्ड कॉफी हॉट हॉट कॉफी हॉट कॉफी हॉट कॉफी ओके 
क्रूज और नॉन क्रूज आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट क्रूज और नॉन क्रूज नॉन जम्मू कश्मीर और केरला जम्मू कश्मीर मैं तो मेरी बात बात नॉर्थ और ईस्ट नॉर्थ और ईस्ट नॉर्थ थैंक यू ओवर टू अमन जी ओके सो आई विल आई विल आस्क यू वन अमन यू आर गोइंग टू बी ऑन अ ब्लाइंड डेट यस व्हाई नॉट nice okay so bollywood or hollywood what do you like hollywood hollywood okay so if somebody says you know what give up csr you know sit home enjoy life would you do that well uh, give me an option this is no, see this is rapid you have to tell us no, would you i said i said if someone says leave csr and be idle at home then i will ask what are you a well wisher of mine or like enjoy being at home like enjoy being at home would you do that or you'll push yourself as a like will you push See, yourself see uh, well currently what i am doing i'm enjoying at home right is both are a part and parcel of life of mine when i think of working i work when i think of being relaxed i'm relaxing like a normal woman so both That's are a part great. of my job all right so basically you would pretty much carry on saying that you know i can manage it really well so i am good in my place absolutely wonderful arpita it was so great talking to you we've spoken about uh, you know certain issues but okay one last question i'd ask you that um, what is gender equality diversity per se in a workplace scenario because you have the fair experience in the audiences would really benefit so give them a little insight sneak peek and then we take the closing note see to me gender equality means give uh, an atmosphere where diverse people can interact and work uh, towards a healthy environment and learn cross uh, uh, national uh, uh, you know uh, cultures you know that what i love about it that's what i would say uh, to my viewers also in nutshell great so um i would just say people who are watching people who are supporting we are looking forward to host you once again i'm reminding you do not miss it it's going to be worth the wait first of may she rise break the bias the edition that we come with is janaki conclave and awards okay cooperation aapki bahut rahi hai sahyog aapka bahut raha hai saath aapka bahut raha hai samarth hamare mein bhi hai ki humne bahut koshish kari bahut logon ko joda aur bahut se acche acche log jude because ye kadi hai ये सोल ट्राइब है जो जुड़ी और मिलकर हम आगे बढ़ रहे हैं आत्मनिर्भरता की ओर जैसे प्रदीप ने कहा था और वॉइस ओवर के साथ हमारा मानना ये है एटलीस्ट व्हेन आई टॉक अबाउट माय अंडरस्टैंडिंग ओवरऑल इज दैट इफ यू टुगेदर यू एम्पावर सो वी शुड ऑलवेज कीप दैट इन माइंड दैट इंक्लूसिविटी इज द वे गोइंग फॉरवर्ड सो जेंडर इक्वालिटी इज नॉट वॉट वी रियली लुकिंग एट वी आर ऑल्सो सींग दैट यू नो वॉट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दैट इक्वल हेड let's talk about that equal understanding so the better half should be the right one not the other half i am not the other half i am the better half is what we talk about and janki skill centers is what we want and those who are coming in pan india huge gratitude to you guys for coming in and making this what it has become nari shakti samman prayojan janki conclave awards happening very shortly thank you so much for all the support that you rendered thank you so much over to pradeep ji thanks thanks amnan thanks to uh, arpita ji arpita ji ne do cheeze aisi boli jo biased hum uh, jaan sakte hain ki kis tarike se corporate mein hai in house aur outbound hiring jo hai wo really present hai corporates mein and that is why the biasness is there still biasness is there and you will find uh, main sirf ek hi cheez aur bolna chahunga my way is my way your way is for your way but there can be the chances that my view is not good so whenever it is there in any of the scenario either the political or the social or the personal or even the friend to friend okay the difference will be there difference in view will be there difference in thought will be there difference to express expression uh, expressing those thoughts also will be there but 
only resolution to this difference is the sambar that is what those antitoxins whenever we talk about uh, the differences we should we should, we should talk about the sambar that is what thanks thanks to arpita ji thanks to amna and thanks to all our collaborators supporters team members and yes of course the whole operations team those who are supporting and, uh, us thanks to all the i would end up uh, again with a beautiful quote i must say a quote should be there from my side well uh, to the viewers who are listening to us and as you know the uh, brilliant collaborators whether it's uh, root to bloom and atmanirbhar bharat and voice it out and chi rise amna say i must say that we the change makers are coming together on the 1st of may 2022 at the venue that she has already mentioned i would like to tell you that this is the day where we are reflecting how far we have come but also how far we have to go absolutely please do keep in mind with that and do shower your blessing with your presence and uh, to all the women nari shakti who are there with us on this forum i must say that there is no force more powerful than a woman determined to rise absolutely i love it very lovely said very beautifully projected opportunities resources sense of understanding and that responsibility only comes when you know we talk about women power because that is shakti and you just actually exhibited that and i love you for that together is where we empower people always remember so as she said in an interview do listen to the interview when you go back why because she said that you know you have to minus and let go of your insecurity very temporary doesn't serve right embrace life is short kitni dur jana hai abhi safar to bahut lamba hai तो so, चलते हैं आगे बढ़ते हैं अर्पिता शुक्रिया जुड़ने के लिए बहुत अच्छा लगा एंड जल्द मिलते हैं थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक्स 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 प्रदीप जी एंड थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू टू बोथ ऑफ यू माइल्स टू गो थैंक्स नमस्कार